the See the Future Fund, Scholarships for the Blind and Visually Impaired, with Dr. Tom Thini. A screenshot of the website homepage is displayed, including a picture with the caption, Top 2014 Recipient, Quinita Thomas. Our presenter is sitting in front of a bookcase at a table with a coffee mug and baseball cap featuring the See the Future logo. Captions are below on screen. Hello, my name is Tom Thini. I'm an optometrist here in Colorado Springs, and um, I am also the uh, founder and chairperson of the See the Future Scholarship Fund. I would like to thank um, CSDB for allowing me to be here and, and disseminate information about our scholarship fund to, uh, to the people of Colorado and, um, and to the students and families that may be um, wanting to, to access this information. So a little bit of background on the scholarship fund is um, I began providing low vision care for visually impaired patients back in 1994 and during the first couple of years of doing that I would provide some uh, evaluations with visually impaired students and many times I would ask them about their their goals and their dreams and and their education of what they were going to do and many times they would see their high school diploma as their final destination and without really a plan or an idea of what they were going to do beyond that high school diploma and um, I thought that was um, kind of striking and I would talk to different vision teachers and different professionals about um, about that uh, you know kind of my concern about some of the um, the thoughts of what these students for their future w was for them and and they said that amongst most disabilities almost all disabilities that the unemployment or underemployment rate was about 80 percent for people who were legally blind nationwide and I thought that was a very striking number and in an effort to try to, to make a difference in that um, we began the See the Future Fund. Um, the See the Future Fund is a scholarship fund for visually impaired and blind students um, who are residents of the state of Colorado in an effort to try to help them see their future beyond high school and really develop a plan for really what's gonna end up to be there the rest of their life. So um, I'd like to give you a little bit of background on that and kind of walk you through that. We started in 1997, I'm sorry, with, uh, with fundraising. And then in 1998, we awarded our first four scholarships. They were um, a total of $10,000 to four different students um, who were going to pursue post-secondary um, education. So we, um, we began at that point, and to kind of bring you up to date now, we have currently raised um, or awarded over $400,000 to, um, to visually impaired and blind students for their, the, the Education for Life program. And, um, Forty-two thousand dollars per year is what we award. We award typically six scholarships: one twelve thousand dollar four-year scholarship, one ten thousand dollar four-year scholarship, one eight thousand dollar four-year scholarship, and three six thousand um, dollar scholarships, and totaling forty-two thousand or up to that point. It depends what the applicant pool is. So it's been a um, the Education for Life scholarship has uh, has been rewarding students end up um, launching careers from engineering to teaching to business finance to business um, to business marketing um, and you name it um, students are pursuing those fields who are visually impaired and blind so it's been exciting um, we also offer two secondary scholarships we have the Scott the see the future fund also uh, has partnered with a cane or the cane family foundation which is a Colorado Springs based foundation um, and they offer two full ride scholarships um, to the top visually impaired and blind students in Colorado who meet certain requirements and and the website will help you um, know what those requirements are but um, the student has to attend one of the CU schools CU Denver CU Colorado Springs or CU Boulder um, and there's other parameters that have to work but I invite people to look at our website which will um, give more details on the Kane see the future scholarship and also one additional $1,000 scholarship we give in the memory of one of our recipients. Her name is Ashley Fritz. And Ashley was a 2004 um, uh, Colorado School for the Deaf and Blind graduate, valedictorian of her class, and received to see the Future Scholarship that year. She passed away in 2011, but Ashley had just a very vibrant spirit about learning and about um, phil, phil, uh, being a philanthropist as well. And she learned some of those skills here at the School for the Blind. Um, when she passed away, we wanted to offer a scholarship that was in her, uh, her memory that reflected her enthusiasm for helping people 
who were um, who were at dis a disadvantage. I asked Ashley one time if she was at a disadvantage um, due to her visual impairment, and she said, "Not whatsoever. The people who struggle here in life." don't have food, don't have shelter, and don't have a loving family. Those are the people that need help. And in that spirit, we look at some of our applicants and those who during their high school careers have shown um, that kind of spirit, like Ashley, we offer an additional $1,000 um, in, in her name. So um, I encourage people to look at the website and Ashley's scholarship information as well. The See the Future Fund's Education for Life Scholarship is a merit-based scholarship. So I would like to just talk a little bit about who qualifies for that. Um, a, a person who um, is visually impaired or blind um, needs to have a visual acuity of 2040 or less in their best seeing eye um, or have a visual um, a, a peripheral field loss of 20 degrees or less to be considered for a See the Future Fund Education for Life Scholarship. Um, if they have a condition that's going to be worsening with visual acuity is a 2040 or worse, but a condition like glaucoma or retinitis pigmentosa, they could qualify or probably will qualify for the Education for Life Scholarship. The uh, criteria is on the website, um, so if, if, you, if you have all the particulars of, of who can apply for the scholarship, but the vision loss criteria um, is, uh, is explained there as well, and I would encourage you to go to the website to get more information about that. The uh, Tools for Life scholarships are not merit-based, but they are need-based scholarships. So the amount of scholarship that's offered depends on the family need, and those specifics are also explained on the application um, that may be obtained in www.seethefuture.org. A second scholarship program that we have um, had, so the first we spoke of was the Education for Life scholarships, and in 2007 we saw an additional need. Um, I work as part of a team that goes out to different um, school um, areas of the state and we work with teachers and students offering low vision devices and, and providing low vision care to help people or help students um, kind of have the proper technology to be kind of at an equal playing field to their sighted peers. And what we found is that many times some of the electronic and some of the technology types of devices that are available are also expensive and many times even though the school district may have it for the student within the school, many times the families could not afford purchasing that equipment for their particular student within their home. So we developed Tools for Life. And Tools for Life was started in 2007 and it offers, it's a need-based scholarship, so depending on the financial need of the particular family, the scholarship fund offers um, a certain percentage toward that particular technology. For instance, if a family is, um, has an earned income of, let's say, $25,000 or less, um, the scholarship fund will purchase 95% of, of that particular device or technology where the family needs to purchase 5% of it. So it, and then it's on a kind of a, a sliding scale depending on what um, the particular needs are for that family. So uh, we started that again in 2007. We've awarded over about $130,000 um, in Tools for Life scholarships since then. Um, and uh, we find it that it, it meets a need. These are devices that are only to be used for students within their family or within, or within their homes or within their community, um, not to be used in with, within the school. So we ask the school districts to have comparable technology be used there, and then the students have their own technology or devices that they can use, um, they can use in their home setting. Um, the deadline, we offer that twice a year, um, is April 15th for the Tools for Life Scholarship and then we do a second um, scholarship application process on October 15th of each year. Um, the Education for Life, which you spoke about previously, um, the, um, the deadline for that is always March 1st. So March 1st for Education for Life Scholarship application deadline and then April 15th and October 15th for the Tools for Life deadline. One of the best parts, in my opinion, of the See the Future Fund is it is a grassroots scholarship fund, meaning we receive donations from $5 to $1,000 and up to corporate donations of up to $10,000 and everywhere in between. And 100% 
of that money goes to scholarships for visually impaired and blind students. There are no administration fees. Everybody who is part and is helpful in administrating this fund is a volunteer with no fees based to it at all. So we're really proud of that and we really feel like um, it's a, it makes the organization or people who give to the organization feel a lot more comfortable that they know that their money will be going to benefit a visually impaired or blind student in either the Education for Life or the Tools for Life program. If you would like to make a donation to the See the Future Fund, uh, we encourage you to go to the website. There's uh, specifics on how to and where to send your information. And of course, you can um, contact myself um, via email or by phone, which um, again is on the seethefuture.org website. I would like to thank the Colorado School for the Deaf and the Blind for this webcast and the opportunity to share our information about the See the Future Fund. Again, we've been uh, part of the Colorado community for the past um, 18 years, and we are excited to continue to support the needs and the academic achievements of visually impaired and blind students throughout the state. Please contact us with any questions you have, and again, thank you to CSTV um, for all their support. This has been a production of the Colorado School for the Deaf and the Blind, 33 North Institute Street, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80903. 719-578-2100 www.csdb.org Videography by Deb Branch with Dr. Tom Thene Audio description by Jim Olson